you enjoyed yesterday's story about Chicken Little, and today I'm going to read a different version of that story. This one is called Prairie Chicken Little, and it's by Jackie Mims Hopkins. And you may be wondering, what's a prairie? Well, as you can see behind me, a prairie is a piece of land that is really flat. It has lots of grass. It does have some farmland there and not very many trees. If you go and visit, it probably won't be too hot and it won't be too cold. It will rain, but not too much and not too little. It's what they call a temperate climate. So I hope that you enjoy the story of Prairie Chicken Little and learned a little bit about what's a prairie. Prairie Chicken Little by Jackie Mims Hopkins. Out on the grasslands where the bison roamed, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, was scritch scratching for her breakfast, when all of a sudden, she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Oh no, she ex exclaimed, a stampede's a coming. I need to hightail it back to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, they'll know what to do. So away Mary ran lickety splickety as fast as her little prairie chicken legs could carry her. On her way to the ranch, Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary, a stampede's a coming. How do you know that this is so, asked Jeffrey. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey, and away the pair ran lickety splickety toward the ranch. Soon they met Bo Grabbit the Jack Rabbit, who was nibbling on some sweet grass. Where are you two going in such a hurry, he asked. A stampede's a coming, said Mary. We're headed to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. How do you know that, that this is so, asked Bo. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Bo. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hop to it then, said Bo, and they lit off across the prairie, lickety splickety toward the ranch. Before long, the trio came across June Spark, the meadow lark, who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What's going on, asked June. A stampede's coming, chorused the trio. How do you know that this is so, asked June. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede? Yes, indeed, said June. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. What are we waiting for, chirped June. And away they all flew, lickety splickety, toward the ranch. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them making their way across the prairie. Well, hello there, my fine feathered and furry friends. What's the big rush? A stampede's a coming, and we're headed to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. <laughs> It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happened to know a shortcut. He had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Instead, he led them across the plain, over a hill, through a pass, around a bend, and down a gully to the entrance of his den. What's this, squawked Mary. 
This snarled slim is the passage to the shortcut. He flashed a, flashed a toothy smile and closed in on Mary McBlicken and the others. The fine feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and thumping and chirping as loud as they could. Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus and came charging across the prairie toward the den. Dan made a beeline for Slim Brody and chased that coyote, lickety splickety, far, far away. What's going on? asked Stan. A stampede's a coming, cried Mary. How do you know that this is so? asked Stan. But before Mary could open her beak to speak, everyone heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Yes, indeed. Why, that's not a stampede, said Stan. That's your stomach. There's only one way to head off a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling stomach. You need some grub. So Cowboy Stan cooked up a fine supper for those critters that took care of Mary McBlicken. Stomach, stampede, lickety, 